all right so in order to miter this corner to match and look like this corner here it's a long one you would think a miter has to be 45 degree but it doesn't matter if it's 45 degree it still can be mitered you just want to be able to mark it from the proper place and in order to mark it from the proper place you need to make sure that the fold is completely even you must press it because if you don't press it you can end up losing where you have to match and get this corner here that corner has to be that this corner and this corner are the two most important places so you're going to take your shears they need to be very sharp because you're going to literally aim your shears towards that corner you must be aimed towards that corner and hit right here you see that uh -huh. Uh -huh. so i use that in order to give you an idea i'll use like a little side of this here because i don't have a ruler next to me but if you see that right there this is kind of like a laser if you think about a laser it goes straight across there you see mm -hmm. so your snip needs to go directly towards that direction and that's the what this snip is going to be the difference on whether you're going to hit that tip when you get ready to sew okay. now I open that up and I turn it inside out don't worry about this right here don't worry about this you're just worrying about this corner here and this snip and this snip so those are the three point markers you take these two and you open it up like this and you come back around towards the other side right sides together and you see those snips they need to match in angle and direction all the way to where the the inner part is it needs to match if the cut is off like if you have this part here is longer and it goes in too far that's wrong they need to be even even if this fabric is too long it needs to match at the inside of that point and then once you have that matched then you lay it down i don't usually lay it down but if you if you need to you lay it down and i stitch from that notch that's i'm calling it a notch but i stitch from that and i go straight to where my corner point is which is where the fabric see that fold that's the that's why you had to press it because you're getting ready to go from there to there and make sure it's straight now I lay it down again and then i lay it like this with whatever ruler this is my ruler today and laser back to right there no matter what's going on over here Don't you're going right from that corner wherever that marking is from the iron pressing from the pressing and you go from there okay if you need to use a ruler and draw your line mm -hmm. but it must be at the same angle so if you look at this right here this this cut is straight in line with the needle okay not at an angle it's not tilted it's straight in line as though I'm cutting as, as though I'm still cutting on a straight line and I go straight into that opening just like that and once you go do that you ignore everything else I usually only trim you know the excess fabric right there in the seam allowance but I always fold it out first and check because you know even though this is a almost a flawless fail safe weight I still check and then I flatten it out and there we go and that's it yep that's it thanks for just putting all those mm-hmm and uh -huh's in my in my video I was <laughs> yeah trying not wait hey y'all <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you have a student in the classroom while you film me i hope y'all enjoyed that uh-huh uh-huh yeah sure okay bye <laughs> i love it